So it does have a swivel, so it swivels all the way around. You can bring it down. We got a remote control. So this is how to mount this guy to the back of the seat. Perfect for kids. If you don't have a built-in DVD player, this is a pretty neat thing. You can take this on a picnic, you can take this anywhere with you. It also allows you to plug in a USB, your SD MMC card, auxiliary, IE Geek. Make your life better. If you have kids, sometimes when they're in your car, you wanna keep them entertained. Having something like this, a good idea. What's going on guys, it's Marshall. Today we've got another unboxing review. IE Geek, make your life better. Model number IK102, portable video player. If you have kids, sometimes when they're in your car, you wanna keep them entertained. Having something like this, a good idea. Woo. This is some sort of a uh, over the seat cover where the screen goes in. So we'll put this on the side. Well, let's see what IE Geek offers. We've got some... Okay, so I can plug this into my wall. You've got your old school cables to connect to the video. We've got a remote control, cigarette lighter input. Now let's take a look at the player itself. The user guide. Check it out on iegeek.com. Here it is. Nothing to it. It's a portable DVD player. It also allows you to plug in a USB, your SD MMC card, auxiliary and you've got your headphone input and you've got your power button and then you've got your AC DC input right here. The top of the screen is textured black sort of gloss. It does have a swivel so it swivels all the way around. You can bring it down. It's not a touch screen. Grab the case that they gave us and then just slip it in. Take these straps, put this around your seat and there you go. So this is how to mount this guy to the back of the seat. Perfect for kids. If you don't have a built-in DVD player, this is a pretty neat thing. You can take this on a picnic, you can take this anywhere with you. You can also play music on here, get SD card, USBs, and watch that content on the screen as well. According to the manual, the first time you take this out of the box, you want to make sure you charge it for seven hours. This will play for about two hours on battery before it requires another charge. You can increase the life of the battery by reducing the volume. The screen has to be angled in order for you to see anything. Right now it's completely flat, you can't see it, but if I tilt it. Now we're gonna go and play a DVD right now that I once done. And it's burnt as a DVD. We can fast forward all the way to 32 times. You can see it's 32 times. There's a play button and a pause button and a stop button. TFT on and off is going to turn off and on the screen to save battery power. And then you've got your menu, which goes to the root of the DVD. You can use the right and then the left to fast forward and rewind, and then you can use up and down to skip through tracks. Down here you've got your volume buttons and then you've got your USB or SD switcher. So if you press on this and then you have something plugged in to here, it will switch between DVD mode and USB or SD mode. We have copied some random JPEGs, an AVI file and MP3 files on this USB. And let's see what happens when we plug that in. The USB. And now we're gonna press USB. And what you're noticing is it's 
loading the root files. Sometimes you may need to format the USB drive to uh, to make sure that it displays the files because I've tried inputting SD cards into the I've tried inputting SD cards directly from the camera into here through the MMC slot and it just didn't work. And it just didn't work. So now so now we can use the arrows to navigate. And it's showing you preview right here of the image, which is kind of neat. So this is me on the edge walk. So these are JPEGs. And they're about five meg files. So now this is the AV file and this is an MP3 file. So we're gonna go and see if you and play this by pressing OK. And now you can see video resolution is so what's happening is it's playing the audio from the mp4 file but it's not playing the video so let's go back to our menu okay so that mp4 didn't play let's go down and see if there's let's try an mp3 file can see it's a little slow it's a little jaggedy but for the price that you're paying it's doable especially if you're going to primarily use this to go on a picnic or perhaps put it in a car for your kids to be entertained while you're driving so I'm quite disappointed that it's not playing um, the mp4s here are some of the specs that um, it claims to play off the disc here are some of the formats to play it also plays WMA files and DivX discs. You can connect externally to the TV or the headphones. You should not plug this into a DC 24 volt cigarette lighter, only a DC 12 volt. Look in the description to find the best prices and coupons for this and other products by iegeek.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one.